Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're having a great day, and welcome to the Tundra Dude 34 YouTube channel. So the other day, we were down at Toyota of Turnersville looking at the 2024 Toyota Tundra options, and there were some good ones there. We saw that Lunar SR5. Uh, we saw a couple different options of 1794 Platinum TRD Sport, and that white with the red interior TRD Pro. Now, every time I'm done doing a video, and the live stream from the lot, I like to walk around and kind of look at each truck and see where my mind is when it comes to what is the best value and is there anything that is catching my attention. Well, you guys always know, you guys always laugh at me. I always fall in love with a different Toyota Tundra and it has happened again. But I'm doing this video to help you decide and show you where you might be able to get a little more value with the prices where they are today, which again, the prices are very high. Now, I say this to you all the time as well. I'm pretty much stuck in the SR5 when it comes to pricing because my double cab SR5 TRD off-road is about $58,000. Nothing is cheap anymore. I've pretty much been priced out of all the higher trim Tundras. But there are a lot of you that are stuck in a situation of, do I do SR5? Do I do limited? Do I go up into the 1794 or platinum? And today, I want to show you a little poll I did yesterday and then talk about that particular truck I saw on the lot that you should definitely check out, especially now with the prices beginning to fall, the APR incentives getting into a more reasonable area, we're not there yet, and some customer cash on the line from Toyota Financial. So this poll I did yesterday, I asked what you guys thought, best 2024 Toyota Tundra trim, and Platinum in 1794 took the win with 33%. Kind of surprised by that because everybody usually selects limited. Well, when I was walking around this lot, I came across a 1794 TRD off-road regular iForce. There was nothing super special about this truck. It didn't have side steps, didn't really have any extras on it. And they were asking about $71,000 for it, which is an astronomical number, of course, when it comes to how expensive these vehicles are nowadays. But if you break it down and sit there, and talk about a limited maybe that you want and what comes on the limited and what packages you have to get. Sometimes the limited can get very confusing and your hope is you find it on the lot built the way you want with the limited premium package, with the limited power package. You need that limited power package to get the bed lights and the outlet. You need the premium package to get the auto leveling headlights. Uh, you can get a panel roof, but it's not standard. It's heated, ventilated, soft text in the limited. So there's a lot of different ways and a lot of different science you have to do when trying to build that limited. But the best part and why this grabbed my attention is 1794. I've always been a fan of 1794, but everything on the 1794 and platinum. So if you don't like that saddle brown interior, this is still a video for you because the platinum has the same features. Just everything on the interior is black versus saddle brown or cream. Uh, but the best part about the 1794 is there is no hunting for features because everything is standard when you get up into 1794. So in limited, you get that heated, ventilated memory soft hex. Well, in 1794, it's genuine leather, heated, ventilated memory. JBL sound system is standard along with the 14 inch screen, digital gauge cluster, pano roof, black headliner. It's all standard. The bed lights and the outlet are standard. That's the best part is you don't have to go and build packages here and there. And if you go on to 1794, you will pretty much see packages where, okay, do you want the regular 1794? Do you want the TRD off-road? Do you want to add the heads up display? There's not a million packages, premium auto leveling headlights, standard. And that's the best part. Now, when you break it down and go look on toyota.com at some of the prices, you will see if you built a limited all the way at the end, 24 of 27, the only packages after this are the three inch TRD lift packages. You will see this for an extra $6,025. Limited TRD off road with options. It gives you JBL premium audio, PVM BSM outer mirrors, TRD off road package, and the panoramic roof. And when we see in this breakdown, you don't see the limited premium package or the limited power package we were talking about earlier. So you're still going to be missing some options here. You have to go in. Uh, to some of these other packages they offer for limited and kind of pick and choose where you need something versus want something to get the truck closest to where you can be. So that's something you got to keep in mind. When you go to the lots, you could see the limited with a lot of options on it, 
or you could see the limited with only a few options on it. Really depends on where you go. I've seen both setups where limited's completely loaded up with Pano and JBL and everything. And I've seen limiteds where it doesn't even have the Pano and it's kind of trimmed down pretty much just the TRD off-road package, nothing crazy on it. But the price of that limited that we just mock built there would be 64780. Now, if you look at this 1794 that I saw on the lot the other day. If you don't like chrome, I feel like this is the best color to get because Midnight Black Metallic looks best with that chrome and that saddle brown interior. So with the TRD grill up front, it kind of offsets to the point where there's not a big, huge splash amount of chrome where you get that normal grill up front that's completely chromed out. But as you can see with the black wheels, 1794 down the side, you got some chrome on the mirror caps, you got some chrome on the handles and around the window molding, really no big deal, but just a beautiful truck. And I love the way the new generation Tundras look with no side steps on it. And I think that's why it originally caught my eye. But when I'm sitting there trying to help you guys decide what Tundra to get and what options you want and how to get option A and option B in the same package, it kind of just struck me when I was at the lot the other day, why not just hang out in the 1794 and platinum where everything is standard? I was talking to someone who wanted a limited, loaded a certain way, but they also wanted that six and a half foot bed. Now, instead of trying to find all of those packages and the six and a half foot bed, which could be nearly impossible depending on where you are in the country, they offer the Platinum in 1794 with the six and a half foot bed, and you don't have to go fishing for all of these particular options you want because they are standard in these trucks. But it just looks so good to me. I mean, on the inside of the truck, you have saddle brown, soft touch leather everywhere. You got acoustic windshield, the 14 inch screen. It's totally loaded up. You get some of those TRD trinkets, of course, like the shifter, the sport pedals. And don't forget, because you get the TRD off-road on this truck, you get the locking rear diff, multi-terrain select, crawl control. It says a 360 bird's eye camera. There's that pano roof there. I mean, the thing is loaded. Absolutely perfect. I feel like the 1794 is the true flagship. And as per the voting on what you think is the best trim, you guys selected 1794 and platinum. And this one here from the dealership is $70,203. So say about a $5,500 difference with going from most of the features to all of the features. With that $5,500 difference, what is your thought? Is it worth that extra money to spend on the 1794 or platinum, the TRD off-road package? I mean, the thing is just loaded perfect. So my epiphany for me, my $58,000 SR5, is pretty much hitting the point where I can't really go much higher than that. But, and this is where I want you to really pay attention if you're out there doing research, there are dealers around this country right now giving big discounts on Tundras. Doesn't matter what it is, big discounts on Tundras. So I've heard 5,000, 6,000 off, 7,000 off. People send me some of their information on the Tundra they just bought. So if you take 5K off this, we're down around 65. So that's getting closer to where you might want to sacrifice a little more money to get all the standard features and the genuine leather. Don't forget that. 1794, platinum, and capstone's got that genuine leather with the capstone having the semi-aniline leather. But this is where you may want to look. If you're looking for all these features and you're trying to build these Tundras, even SR5s loaded up go up into the 64, 65 range nowadays. So I feel like in that mindset and talking about those prices, it would be a disservice to you to not go and at least look at the 1794 and Platinum and see if you could get yourself a great deal on something there is no settling, okay? Because in SR5, you can't get the panel roof, you can't get the JBL, you can't get heated, ventilated seats. Uh, that's up in the Limited. The only thing you could get in SR5, you can get soft text, but it's heated only. And in the Limited, don't get me wrong, the Limited is a nice middle package for all of this but you have to find the Tundra that has all the packaging you want in it because it can be built so many different ways. And you, as a consumer, cannot go to Toyota and order a truck because Toyota doesn't do that. So that is when it almost makes sense to not settle because everybody always says nowadays, I don't want to settle. If I'm spending this kind of money, it needs to be perfect. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, this one caught my eye. I am personally going to do everything I can in my power to get something almost identical to this truck. At the sticker, it had no extras on it. It was just the TRD off-road package and the heads-up display. There was nothing more than that. No side steps or anything. 
Black looks great with the chrome. I have no problem with that. My truck outside, SR5, has some chrome on it. I don't have an issue. I think it looks good with the black. I've always wanted the 1794. And now with the interest rates coming back down to normal, with customer cash, APR incentives, might be the time to strike. And if you find that dealer who's looking to make a deal and get a truck off their lot, I'm telling you, I've had emails from people that just recently bought Tundras, five, six, seven thousand $7,000 off MSRP to get that thing off of the lot. This may be where to focus. The worst thing a dealer can tell you is, no, we can't do that. But it's worth a try because you never know. You may end up in something where you're not sacrificing anything and you're getting all of the stuff you want in the truck. I hope this helps. I hope someday there is exactly this 1794 in my driveway. I'm telling you, I shut that camera off the other day and I just walked around this thing for a couple minutes and I'm like, oh no. I fell in love again. And the last truck we had this I fell in love with talk was a white limited TRD off-road down at Shore Toyota in Mays Landing. And that was great. But when I looked at the sticker, I was like, ooh, this is missing a few key things like the bed lights and the outlet. To me, that's a must. So it just got to the point, instead of sitting there and building that limited over and over and trying to find exactly what you want and then trying to find a dealer that has that specific configuration, this makes the most sense. And when I saw it, it caught my eye. It almost had a halo over it. Like one day you will be mine. Oh yes. But let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope this helps if you're looking for a high luxury trim Tundra or a medium luxury trim Tundra. Before you commit to anything down low, you might want to try and talk to the dealer about getting some insane money off, hopefully ending up in your dream truck with no settling at this price point. Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, TikTok, at Tundra 34 Tundra 34 at gmail.com. Thank you so much for being part of the poll yesterday as well. And as per the poll, you guys love that 1794 and platinum. Take care.